Coming up, we'll take a closer look at how much students have grown during the year and hear about how teachers plan to move forward using what they learned from this year. We'll also hear from some ninth grade students about how they adapted to this school year. I'm Abby Brandon. And I'm Emma Gardner. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. <music> Welcome back to our final weekly edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Thursday, May 20th. We've got a great show planned. Let's start with local news. We here at FHS TV are anxiously looking forward to a normal summer. Throughout this edition, we will feature interviews with many students and teachers asking about their summer plans. One great way to enjoy the summer is to catch a concert at many of the rescheduled shows at the Walmart Amp. Artists coming this summer include Luke Bryan, the Abbott Brothers, and Dave Matthews Band. There are a few shows in June with many more scheduled for July and August. If you haven't yet picked up your yearbook, please come to the yearbook room and get it. The books are available all day during class in Phase 4, Room 2414. The library is continuing its annual summer reading challenge. You must read or listen to seven books over the summer. The challenge is open to FHS staff and all students. Count all books read between May 1st and August 15th, and whoever gets to seven is qualified for a prize drawing at the end of August. The library will check out books to students for the summer beginning May 19th, and library accounts must be in good standing to check out a book over the summer. If you are looking to travel, there are many clubs and groups offering trips next school year. Ms. Hires is offering two student travel adventures for the 2022 school year, including Scotland over spring break, immediately followed by Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam next summer. There will be Zoom meetings about the trips, and if you are interested, please email Ms. Hires at the address on your screen. Many teachers have adapted their classroom to make this year as successful as possible. FHS TV reporter Caitlin Shaw tells us more about how our teachers overcame the challenges of this year. With COVID-19 affecting the school year, teachers have had to adapt to the virtual, in-school, and hybrid students. We talked to two teachers about their struggles and hopes for the upcoming year. There were definitely challenges that um, I think made learning more difficult this year. I really miss not being able to use um, paper and shared materials because like for AP Human Geography, it was really hard to do things with maps and with shared colored pencils and with scissors and just that kind of tactical kind of interaction with the material. But um, I also, I feel like I get to know my kids through their interaction with each other and like knowing them as peer groups and as friends. And so I've really missed that social aspect of the classroom. But I just don't think high school students are wired to take school virtually. Assuming that we're somewhat back to normal, everything I've heard from administ administration is that uh, there's gonna be, not gonna be virtual or two by three. It's either you are a full-time student at Fayetteville High School or you sign up for you know, a different school, Fayetteville Virtual Academy. Um, and I think, I think the administration realizes that it's going to be kind of a rude awakening for both teachers and for students. I mean, Fridays for teachers is awesome. I mean, uh, so I'm going to have to learn to teach five days a week instead of just four. We thank all of the FHS teachers for giving their 110% for all of their students. For the last time of the school year, for FHS TV, I'm Caitlin Shaw. Thanks, Caitlin, and thank you to all the teachers out there. We appreciate it. Summer is a great time for preparing for the next school year. If you'll turn 16 by September 1st, you'll need a meningococcal immunization to be able to come to school. You must turn in proof of this immunization by October 1st. If you do not have all the required immunizations by this date, you could be removed from school until proof is given to your school nurse. Many students have had to overcome challenges this year from virtual learning to different schedules. Cooper Cordine traveled around school to find out more about how students overcame the struggles this year presented. Today we're going around the school asking students various questions about their year. What have you learned this year? I've learned that the Agri department gives great opportunity to branch into what you might want to do after high school. Very nice. Did you cheat on any assignment this year? Yes sir, I did. 
Four K. <laughs> Jam or jelly? Jelly. All right. <laughs> What's one thing you learned this year? How to copy and paste. Very well. Canes or Slims? Canes. What's your favorite flavor of Kool-Aid? I'd have to say blue raspberry. Fair enough. How is learning this year different from learning last year? Well, I feel like I haven't gotten the same opportunities as I did whenever I was learning last year, but I was still able to learn a lot because of our virtual learning program. Virtual learning program. Who is the 44th president of the United States? Mm, I, Obama? Question mark? Yes? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Are you free this Friday? <laughs> For FHS TV, I'm Cooper Cordine. Back to the desk. Thanks, Cooper. After the break, we'll hear from some underclassmen about adapting to high school. We'll also catch up on sports and have a weather report from correspondent Taylor Barnes. We'll see you in 30. Welcome back. Most sports have finished their seasons, but FHS still has one team out there looking for a championship. The Bulldog Girls soccer team will travel to Benton this week to take on the Bentonville West Wolverines for the 6A state championship. The game is at 10 a.m. on Friday. Best of luck to our Lady Dogs. The spring is a tough time for weather with many severe storms in the area. Reporter Taylor Barnes has the Fayetteville weekend forecast in today's weather report. Hey guys, welcome to your FHS TV weather report. I'm Taylor Barnes. Today is going to be a little stormy, but this will all clear up before the weekend. As we go into the weekend, the highs will be in the 80s with a bit of an overcast. Be sure to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather this weekend. That's all for your weather report. I'm Taylor Barnes, back to the desk. Thanks, Taylor. Many students at FHS are shy when they first get on campus. Aiden Mills hit the hall to see how ninth graders have adapted to being at high school this year. This has been a strange year for everybody, especially the freshmen who have known nothing else, so we decided to ask them what they've learned. I'm here with Johnny. Hi, my name's Johnny, and this year I've learned how to be in a studio in television class. Okay. What I learned this year is that I'm definitely better at algebra than geometry. I wish I was good at math. Legida. Legida? Le. Le. Legida. Legeta. Am I saying it right? N N A Legeta. Legeta. Um, something that I've learned this year is that not everybody stays in your life, and people come and go. So just don't get attached. That's really good advice. I'm here with Gabe. What I've learned this year is how to be more mature. Good answer. I hope everyone took something from this that they can use in their everyday lives. This is FHS TV, and I'm Aiden Mills. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Emma Gardner. And I'm Abby Brandon. We'll see you next time. I know. You ruined it. We were filming. <laughs> How's my hair look? All right. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. My glasses got down to my nostrils and I was Cambodia. Yes? Yes? <laughs> Do we have to redo that again?